is Anthony Yard versus Arthur Baturbiev. And bro, people have just been talking about this for ever since and Arthur Baturbiev has been like a couple <laughs> just for just last Saturday, well, our Sunday in the UK. But everyone's just been talking about Anthony Yard fighting Arthur Baturbiev. That's what's been the that's what's been the go-to. Arthur Baturbiev, he did what he normally does, knocked out Joe Smith like he was a nobody. Joe Smith never been knocked, not, never been beaten up like that, first of all, and never been knocked out like that either. You know, and Baturbiev just knocked him out. Everyone's talking about, that's the guy we want at Niyar to go in and fight. What do you guys think about that, man? Make sure you guys, make sure you like the video, share the video, drop your comments in the comment section below. Make sure you do all that good stuff across the channel. Be sure to share it on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever you man are on. Share the video in it. That's cool. So, Anthony Yard, you know, Anthony Yard, you know, the you know, Frank Warren's been trying to position him for that mandatory shot against Arthur Baturbiev, trying to pick up those belts. And then obviously they want to try and set up, probably after that, we're going to set up a fight with Bivo, trying to root him to Undisputed. That's pretty much what I can gauge of what they're trying to do. Is it too early? That's the question. This is the question. This is the crux of the matter. Is it too early for Anti Yard to be taking on Arthur Baturbiev? Is it too soon? Are they setting him up for a highlight reel loss <laughs> to Arthur Baturbiev? Is he gonna become the the nineteenth, the nineteen and zero on Arthur Baturbiev's rec rec record? Is he is is Anti Yard getting knocked out? That's the question, isn't it? Can Anti Yard get to Arthur Baturbiev? Is it going to be an affair where he feels the power? He doesn't want to let the hands go. What is going to happen? What is happening next? Is that fight even going to happen anyway? Because I've been seeing Arthur Baturbiev is more into going for undisputed against Dimitri Bivol. Bivol is on the zone, so you know there's going to be have to be stuff worked out there. But that's a topic for another video. But can Anti Yard beat? Arthur Baturbiev, it is boxing. Anything can happen. We see stranger things happen in boxing. But when you've got a guy who just walks through people, Arthur Baturbiev, yeah, looks like someone that they brought out of, you know, the, it's like it looks like someone from some someone from like the 1500s or something like that. Some guy, strong guy from you know the Germanic or you know Russo forests. They brought him out and, you know, been training in the bushes, came out there rugged, and it's like you can hit this guy's chin with a sledgehammer and it's like nothing's even going to happen. That's the vibes I get from, just from, from Arthur Baturbiev, just based on how he looks. The guy is a beast. He looks like a beast. He fights like a beast. He knocks people out like a beast. That's what he is. Question is, is Anthony Yard ready for that kind of energy? Is he ready to get caught with those kind of shocks? Can he go? Can he go deep waters with Arthur Baturbiev? We've seen Arthur Baturbiev. He's been. Did you, if, have you guys seen the Luke? The the, 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 the what do you call it? That Marcus Brown fight. The guy had an injury as bad as Badu Jack when he fought Marcus Brown. And what happened? My man went in there, went through trenches, and I saw the fight. I thought like he was gonna get stopped, or the the, the the way he looked, I was like, this guy went in there and just not got this guy, Marcus Brown, the hell out of him. He's fought the guy has fought people who are even more skilled than Anthony Yard is. More skilled, you know, people he's fought people that arguably have better skills and argue uh, and definitely have some guys have that he's fought have a lot of punching power just as much as that the yard has and what has and what has he been able to do he's been able to knock them out knock them out that's just it the thing is with Anthony Yard versus Arthur Baturbiev it's a fight where everything Anthony Yard needs to do needs to be on point everything every move needs to be a calculated move if he's going, if he's moving forward, he needs to be fully at attention because we know Arthur Baturbiev can counter people with them big hooks he likes, those hook, short, tight hooks he likes to land. We know he can do that with people trying to walk forward. This guy is a dangerous man. He's not a guy you just come there and be like, oh, I'm going to just go to war. What? Go ask, oh, go ask, go ask Joe 
Joe Smith, what happens when you just go there and try to go to war? You get knocked the hell out. That's what happens to you, bro. So, Tunde Jai, Anti Yard, the whole, their whole team needs to come up with a game plan, a tactical game plan, how they're going to beat Arthur Baturbia. For me, I feel like the, the way he needs to go about the fight, tactically, he needs to be very cautious, not cautious, but, and or, or scared of, of, of Baturbia's power, but he needs to be educated pressure, knowing what is coming back to him, memory from the videos that they've watched of Arthur Baturbia's fights, you know. And just being fully aware of what's coming back at them if they're going forward, you know. And, and to be honest, a lot of people say Callum, you know, what what's his name? Uh, uh Arthur Baturbiev, he's been uh, he's been dropped. You've seen Arthur Baturbiev's been dropped twice in two in two previous fights. He's gone on to win those fights by a knockout. But obviously, you've got someone like Anthony Yard's got the power. He can hit hard if he can find that shot, the hook or a, a right hand down the pipe. If he can find it and drop. Alpha Baturbiev, it wouldn't shock me. It's just about can he get the job done? That's the question. If he drops him, can he get the job done? Is he going to have the mentality to get it done, especially with what Alpha Baturbiev could be returning back in fire? Could he still get it done, even if he faces adversity himself by trying to get the job done? That's the main question because there's guys, they go forward, they, they start face, they, it gets difficult. They, you know, they start all of a sudden, the, you know, the, the temperature of the fight is changing for them and the other guys getting momentum. So he's going to have to be able to dig into trenches at the yard. He's going to have to be able to go to, he, he wouldn't be surprised if he got dropped and it dropped, uh, dropped within, within five rounds because if, if, he's, uh, if he's really looking for it and it's going to be a very interesting fight. The main criticism I've got not really for Anthony Yard. It's the it's the it's the management, the kind of fights he's been put in. Like honestly, look at he fought Lyndon Arthur for the Commonwealth title. How do you go from fighting road sweepers, cream puffs, puddings, journeymans, and all manners of people who classifications of <laughs> journeyman? You fight Lyndon Arthur, which is the only you know half. I don't want to. He's not even world class best fighter on your resume you lost to him once you win the rematch you're then you're inactive you're not finding anybody of real quality that you can even find in the middle even if you fought a john pascal john pascal if you pay john pascal if you're offering you know there's money there people are gonna if you if even if you offer john pascal uh an offer to fight anthony yard he's an older guy he's still got experience if he's a good guy to have on your resume you beat john pascal you've got you know it's a good fight Good, you learn and fight, you beat a John Pascal. Then you can go on maybe, okay, I think, for me, I would say maybe you have one or two more fights before Baturbia, but even if you go fight Baturbia if Arthur fight John Pascal, that's more acceptable to me. But with Lyndon Arthur to, to Arthur Baturbia, like, the kind of sparring you must be doing, this must be the most le- le- knowledgeable sparring you must be doing to give you the kind of intuition in the ring to deal with a people like a fighter like Baturbia. Because when you go in there, it's easy to spar and... and you know, you've been all these journeys, but when you got it's different levels, man. So I need to see how that works because if he goes in there and he gets sparked out within five rounds, like a lot some other fighters have been, people are gonna be blaming and saying, Oh, why didn't he fight some other people to get used to the this level of boxing? And then people's gonna be looking at people like Tunde Jai and looking at his management. You know, look at Eddie Hearn, the way he's dealing with Joshua Buatsi. You know, Virgil, Virgil, Virgil Hunter's already talking about Buatsi needs another interim fight before fighting potentially Dimitri Bivol. You would think that's the kind of route that you they would want to follow for Anthony Yard. But, you know, sometimes if you gamble and he gets it done against Baturbiev, against the all odds, people would say that was the right decision. If it doesn't work, people are going to be like, it was the wrong decision. You should have given him more learning fights and it would have been a better route to do so. It's pretty much have to see how the gamble pays off. If it pays off, bruh, Tunde, Frank Warren, they're going to look like geniuses getting this guy the payday and getting this guy the belts. But if it doesn't work, it's going to look a bit mad still. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me see what you guys think about Anthony Yard versus Arthur Baturbiev. Can Anthony Yard beat Anthony... But can <laughs> Anthony Yard beat Anthony? Can Anthony Yard beat Arthur Baturbiev and get it done and bring the belts back to the UK? Bring it back to East London for himself? Or is, is, is Arthur Baturbiev going to do what he normally does 
yeah, that the Russian warrior. The guy looks like they brought him straight out of the the back from the gladiators back in the Colosseum. Is he just going to go in there, lights out, and end the fight? Drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me see what you guys are saying about this fight. Cool.